driver of that car was taken to the hospital. The suspect arrested a short time later. And this crash was just the third, actually, in a string of high-speed high police pursuits in the last few days. Last night, a man was killed and two children critically hurt after a crash uh, while police were pursuing a driver in South Bloomfield Police, that is, in Pickaway County. And early Sunday, two adults were killed and two children hurt in a crash after a chase on South James Road. That's where NBC4's Ted Hart is live tonight with more on how law enforcement decides here, Ted, when and when not to pursue a vehicle. Well, yeah, Mark, there are a lot of variables that go into making the decision on whether or not to pursue and then also evaluating whether or not to continue that chase. But law enforcement says that the first and most important decision is the one that's made by the suspect. What ended with such violence started as a simple traffic stop for speeding at about 2 o'clock in the morning. The deputy uh, stopped the car, walked up to the car, had brief contact with the driver, advising the driver to put his window down. Um, he was there for approximately 10 to 12 seconds, at which time uh, the driver then took off. Franklin County Chief Deputy Jim Gilbert says time of day, road conditions, traffic, and other factors all go into the decision to pursue a fleeing vehicle. It's indicative of uh, individuals that have either contraband, warrants, uh, maybe the car is stolen, uh, a weapon involved, just maybe have been involved in a crime. Those are all the things that are going through a deputy's mind at that time in the morning in which a car is fleeing. In this case, the driver, Tavon Collins, already had a warrant out for driving without a license. He was thrown from the car and died, as did his sister, Olivia Collins. Olivia's two children, a one and a two year old, in car seats in the back, suffered only minor injuries. Pursuit policies vary from one police agency to another, but most allow supervisors to call off a chase at any time. Assisting Pickaway County in today's pursuit of an armed suspect in a stolen vehicle was an easy decision for other agencies given the seriousness of the threat. Uh, not only we're going to assist that agency, but we have to be mindful that now we've got an armed individual that's carjacked a vehicle. That's the second stolen vehicle he's been in in the last several hours, and now he's here in Franklin County. So we have to ensure for the resident's safety to ensure he's not going to commit uh, any further crimes. And I spoke with the grandmother of the two young children who were injured in the crash here on South James Road early Sunday morning. She said that she has no answers for why Tavon Collins decided to flee from police. She said, though, that it is a blessing that her grandchildren were strapped into their car seats and survived with only minor injuries. Local for you on the east side, Ted Hart, NBC4.